My name is Nicole, and I'm sitting here at Universal Records, coming at y'all live from Pseudo Entertainment. I'm here with the most talented TQ. The title of your album is called Gemini. Is there any significant reason to that title of your album? That's my star sign, naturally. Um, but aside from that, this album is a little bit, it's a little bit different from the last one. Mm -hmm. uh, I really wanted to make it a point mm -hmm. this time around to show that difference. This album is more of a throwback R&B album than the last one. You know, the last one was kind of deep. It had like a lot of, a lot of different um, concepts and things that you really wouldn't find in R&B normally. You know what I'm saying? This time around, we we focusing on, you know, love, relationships, good music, a little more than the. Yeah, we really got the ladies in mind this time around. I think the ladies is really gonna be happy listening to this album. About five years ago, Baby and Slim came to L.A. Um, they was promoting Julie's first album and got on the radio and just said, man, where's TQ? We need to find TQ. People start blowing my page up and calling my cell phone like, you need to get down to, uh, you need to find Baby and Slim. They out here looking for you, cash money. You know, they just got $30 million. You need to go holler at them. <laughs> so uh, I went and met them at their at they hotel, and it's just been going ever since we exchanged numbers. I mean, it wasn't really, they just, we just wanted to holler. You know what I'm saying? They told me that they respected my music, and um, at the time, I was selling a lot of records in, in New Orleans. Um, I think L.A. was my first market, and New Orleans was my second in the amount of record sales that I was doing. And I think Baby and Slim and Juvie and all of them had a big part to play in that because they always listened to my record. I mean, to this day, that first record, they can sing every song word for word. And I think having that type of relationship to start it out, it's a friendship thing, it's a respect. We respect each other's music. It's only natural that, you know, if they're the people that have what it is that I need and I have something that they might be lacking. I've noticed you as an artist, you display a lot of your personality through your lyrics. Do you think that's what makes the artist a good artist? I think that that's a, it has a part to play in it, but I think more importantly is, you know, finding that bridge to channel that personality, the, the way that you actually get it across is what makes an artist. The majority of the people that you associate with are hip-hop artists. Like you, live, you lead the hip-hop lifestyle, but you're a singer. How does, how, do you, how does that make you feel? The people I grew up with, nobody was really listening to no R&B unless it was old school stuff. You know, I'm from L.A., we old school, you know, to the heart anyway, but um, it's just, a, it's a natural thing to me. You know what I'm saying? I, I love what rap music is about. I like the way that a person can really express himself with exactly what he wants to say, how he wants to say it. And, and I mean, I'm just a straight up type person. Whatever it is I'm feeling, I'm going to let it out. I'm a songwriter before I'm a singer. I tell anybody that. You know, I'm a songwriter before I'm a performer. As much as I love to perform, um, my, my heart, what I love, is to write and create songs. Yeah. I asked this question for y'all. Are you the romantic type? You know what? I think I've been slapped with reality. My mind's been telling me this for a long time. In order to have a woman, you're going to have to be a little romantic. you got to find a way to be a little romantic. What can your fans expect from you in the future? Um, sky's the limit, man. I mean, if I had it my way, I'd be writing, on so I'd be writing songs from everybody, from, you know, every genre of music, from rock all the way down to rap, R&B. I don't care what language, what, whatever. I just like to write. I don't discriminate at all. I, I feel like I'm, I'm capable of writing any kind of song, any genre of music. I just want to one day have on the charts at the same time, I have one song on every chart in there. All of your dedicated fans out there, to the little kids, the young ones, what would you say to them as to, if they want to come up and to take your place one day? What would you have any advice for them? If you set your mind to do something, you really have the power to do it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's about prayer, it's about hard work, and it's about focus. But if you put the three together, it's very possible. You know what I'm saying? And one thing about me, I have never allowed nobody to tell me that I couldn't do something. You know what I'm saying? And and if I feel like if kids get it at an early age that that word can't should generate a positive spark, it should be a kickstart for you instead of a, a stumbling block, we'll see a whole change of direction of how people grow. Yeah. It's August. It's the first week in August. First week in August, the album will be out. Yeah. Of course it's mine. <laughs> this is Nicole signing off at Universal. Check y'all later.
sudo.com.